Hi user, welcome to my channel Learning with Khatak. Uh, today we are uh, going to uh, present a very important topic uh, that is uh, integer input validation in uh, C++. Why we need to present this topic or why we need to uh, cover this topic. Uh, as you people know that uh, we can process multiple types of data in a C++ program. Uh, for example, <coughs> we can process or we can operate an integer type of data, character type of data and obviously a uh, double type of data. But sometime uh, it becomes mandatory that we can only input an integer type of data. Uh, means uh, if uh, if you want to ask a user to input an integer data uh, and mistakenly he enters uh, a character data or string data or floating point data uh, then the program uh, should print a message to the user that you can only print uh, that you can only enter integer type of data <clears throat> so how uh, this validations can be achieved in C++ that uh, if we require only an integer type of data we restrict the users uh, to enter only the integer type of data if he enters string type of data, character type of data, uh, the compiler uh, signal in error message uh, or simply give him a message uh, that please only enter the integer type of data. So here in this case uh, I just declare a, a variable and uh, that is uh, integer type of variables then um, from the users uh, we expect an integer numbers to be entered and so on. So here is uh, what actually uh, I'm I'm going to use a while loop and inside a while loop there must be uh, if a condition. So if you look at this while one if so first look at this and then I will go to explain uh, the different functions inside the uh, if statement. So while one and then uh, the body of the while statement uh, while loop and then if cn dot fail there i am going to use fail function built-in function then c out invalid input please re-enter an integer then cn dot clear clear is another uh, built-in function and then ignore is another built-in function so let me explain what is the main task of fail built-in function clear function and ignore functions I just write uh, the description inside the comment term. If you look at the comment term, cn dot fail. This function returns true when an input failure occurs. What does it mean? That we ask a user to input an integer number. If the user fails to enter an integer number, then this function will return true. So this function uh, returns true when an input failure occurs. In this case, it would be an input that is not an integer. Means the user try to enter other than integer. It may be a floating point number. It may be a string or it may be else a combination of something else. If the scene fails, uh, if the scene fails, then the input buffer is kept in an error state. So, so if we look at the code, while one, it means one uh, one means if the condition is true means something is input from the users so if the condition is true uh, then the control come to uh, here if uh, uh, statement uh, so if cn dot fail if this statement returns true it means that uh, when cn dot fail will be returned true again if you look at this this function return true when an input failure occurs in this case it would be an input that is not an integer so it means when the if condition will be true if the user input other than integer value so if the condition is true means the user input in, uh, a character type of data or a string type of data then condition is true then control come to the next statement that is simply this will be printed input uh, invalid input please enter an integer okay so then cn dot clear what is the role of what is the main task of cn dot clear cn dot clear the main task of the scene clear is a built-in function. This is used to clear the error state of the buffer so that further processing of input can take place. Uh, this enable that the input does not lead to an efficient in infinite loop of error message. So what does it mean? So when the first time, uh, let me explain from there. When first time the uh, uh, the message uh, print on the screen that enter an integer and a user input an integer, so CN is basically uh, a streaming object that takes input uh, from the screen 
and store inside a buffer or memory so if this condition is true it means that user enter value other than integer so after printing the value so after printing the message that please enter a value scene the stream of scene still contains the invalid input the invalid uh, in integer input by the user so for this reason we have to use the clear functions to clear the buffer to clear the buffer which contains values other than integer and then scene dot ignore okay make the buffer clear and then ignore functions what is the role of ignore functions if we look at the uh, description this function is used to ignore the rest of the uh, the rest of the line after the first instance of error that has occurred and skips to or etc what does it mean so it means cn dot ignores ignores the length of characters of how much ignores up to 132 character unless and until you come to the new line backslash n so these are the three uh, built-in function used uh, cn dot fail check whether the input uh, entered by the user through the keyboard is an integer or uh, other than integer if other than integer then this statement becomes true then this statement will return a true statement then this statement will be executed but if a user enter an integer value it means the if condition become false and the control will come to uh, this statement so here cn dot fail not means check carlo uh, uh, please check it if this is false then simply break it and then control come to the next statement the entered number is that so if i run this program uh, look at this okay enter an integer so here if i enter in integers to the entered number is uh, two again if i entered r uh, sorry uh, okay okay let me run it again if I run it again, now if you look at uh, that ASD, I enter simply a string. Invalid input, please enter an integer. I again input uh, the R. Invalid input, please enter an integer. And similarly, if I look at this, invalid input, please input, uh, input an integer. So if I input uh, an integer value, so it gives me the entered number is 422. So <clears throat> To summarize, uh, there are three built-in functions. Cn.fail will return true if the user enter other than integer value. Cn.clear used to clear the buffer uh, which contains uh, the invalid input and then ignores ignores rest of the character from the starting one to 132 characters until and else you come to the new character. So here in this, uh, it's the last of the uh, code, the description of three functions are there. But uh, before closing let me show one thing uh, the other dimension of this if i entered uh, look at this one two three four seven eight u y f i that's if i run this program now the entered number is one two three four five six seven eight what does it mean it's simply if i combine string with in, uh, integer with the string it simply print the integer part while ignoring the uh, uh, string part similarly if i entered another uh, examples uh, 12.122 it simply ignore uh, the numbers after the decimal values and simply print the 12 what does it mean <coughs> okay though uh, this technique seems to work fine it hides a dangerous fall that can occur this can be considered as a disadvantage of using c++ this technique does not catch certain type of input means if we uh, if we use uh, this technique um, this only captures if i entered the string data it will print an invalid message similarly if i print a, uh, if i input a character data it will give me in uh, the message that input invalid input as you show uh, in the screenshots show uh, two input that is accepted and the numerical part is printed as we show in the last two statement uh, where i entered a numeric value with the string and only the numeric value is printed similarly uh, if i entered the double numbers that floating point numbers it uh, simply show me the integer part while ignoring the uh, rest of the numbers so how can this <coughs> 
input be handled the techniques we can apply is to accept the input is a string the to analyze the string to be of the legal types shown above using regular expression if the input is valid then convert it into an integer and use it in the program else display an error message though it is possible it is very difficult to achieve in c++ this is mainly because c++ does not support regular expression by the part so in short if you are going to plan to simply check uh, whether the number is in uh, string or integers you can use these techniques by uh, deploying this uh, program that is using three built-in functions fail clear ignore but if you want even uh, if you want to check that the input is only consist of integers um, also um, you want to handle the floating point numbers and the string values so for that you have to use a regular expression which uh, C++ does not support regular expression by default. We have to make use of the regex library which is quite complex to use. So for the time being we are only <coughs> going to deal with the integer value uh, and the string value. Uh, and in the next course uh, hopefully we will cover uh, the regular expression too. So thank you very much. Uh, stay tuned with us.